One of the most profound things your gut microbiome does is to help your immune system defend your body against cancer. When you have harmful bacteria growing in your gut, it raises the chances of actually having heart disease, diabetes, and even Alzheimer's disease because of the gut-brain axis. There's a connection between the two. Meet Dr. William Lee, MD, is an internationally renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor and researcher. His groundbreaking work has impacted more than 70 diseases, including cancer, diabetes, blindness, heart disease, and obesity. He has spent 20 years studying how our diets can help us beat diseases and live longer. The best thing is he always takes a natural food-based approach. He is also a New York Times best-selling author and has recently published a new book, Eat to Beat Disease, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. In today's video, we have extracted Dr. William Lee's teaching over the years of reviving your gut health to fight diseases as you age, burn fat, and live longer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, ca uh, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. In the next few minutes, we will reveal Dr. William Lee's recommendations on the top three foods to revive your gut and three things that are sneakily destroying your gut. And in the final part of the video, Dr. William Lee's advice on should we take probiotic supplements for gut health or not. But first, why should you even care about your gut? When your gut microbiome is not healthy, which is most likely the case with you right now, the bad gut bacteria starts to overpopulate and dominate the good bacteria. While the good bacteria, which boosts your immunity, reduces inflammation, helps you digest food, and helps keep your bowels regular, is reduced. It leads to all kinds of health problems, like inflammatory bowel disease, obesity, diabetes, liver disease, heart disease, autoimmunity, mood disorders, and even cancer. We have to try to grow back to good bacteria and the bad bacteria will start to vanish because the good ones can actually overgrow and dominate if you give them the opportunity. But luckily, Dr. William Lee shared simple foods that can revive your gut health. Let's get started. Number one, probiotic and whole plant-based foods. For one, we can eat prebiotic foods. These are foods with a lot of dietary fiber. Probiotics are foods or supplements that contain live microorganisms to maintain or improve the good bacteria in the body. Regularly consume fermented foods rich in probiotics, such as yogurt, particularly those labeled with live and active cultures, kimchi, sauerkraut, pickles, and certain types of cheese in moderation due to their saturated fat and salt content. Sourdough bread is another beneficial choice. The lactic acid bacteria used in its fermentation not only gives a tangy flavor, but also contributes beneficial bacteria to the gut. In one study, eating yogurt with lactobacillus fermentum or lactobacillus amylovirus reduced body fat by 3-4% to over 6 weeks. Secondly, focus on whole plant-based foods that are naturally rich in dietary fiber, bioactive compounds, while being low in harmful synthetic chemicals and artificial additives. Aim for 30 grams of fiber each day to support your digestive health. Our bodies can't easily break down fiber, so it travels to the colon where it serves as a food for good gut bacteria. In Western countries, people eat less than half of what they actually need in terms of fiber every day. Other excellent sources include broccoli, apples, pears, mushrooms, celery, kale, red and green bell peppers, onions, and even exotic options like bamboo shoots. Also, incorporate a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds into your daily diet. Number two, postbiotic foods. There's something called um, postbiotics. And postbiotics are really whatever the bacteria produces, you know, can we actually add some of that to our system as well? Well, it turns out a, a, a jar of pickles or a jar of kimchi or a jar of sauerkraut already has postbiotics because the bacteria are already in there and they're already making their stuff. So we're already eating some of that good stuff. When the good bacteria digest our food, especially those prebiotic fibers, they produce helpful byproducts called postbiotics. 
These postbiotics include substances like short-chain fatty acids, certain vitamins, and other compounds that offer a range of benefits for our health. Think of them as the rewards produced by your gut's good bacteria. Research shows that postbiotics play a significant role in our well-being. They can improve digestion and strengthen the gut barrier, boost the immune system, and even reduce inflammation throughout the body. A great way to increase your postbiotic intake is through fermented foods. Dr. Lee emphasizes that foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, and pickles naturally contain postbiotics thanks to the fermentation process. Other fermented foods like yogurt, miso, and certain cheeses can also be good sources. Remember, the best approach for a healthy gut is to combine prebiotic-rich foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains with probiotic foods containing live bacteria to create a flourishing environment for your good bacteria to produce those beneficial postbiotics. Number three. So what makes our gut microbiome uh, happiest? It turns out it's not just plant-based foods, but diversity. Bacteria crave variety. Like us, they get bored and less effective if they receive the same food day in and day out. Our gut houses a vast and complex community of bacteria known as the gut microbiome. To keep this bacterial ecosystem thriving, the key is diversity. Dr. Lee emphasizes the importance of consuming 20 to 30 different types of plant-based foods every week. Think beyond basic fruits and vegetables. Diversity means including different colors, textures, and varieties of vegetables and fruits, along with an array of whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, and even spices. The science behind this focus on diversity is fascinating. Different food types provide nourishment for different species of beneficial gut bacteria. By eating a varied diet, you create a thriving environment where a wider range of microbes can flourish. This diverse microbiome is more robust and resilient in the face of stress, helping to prevent the overgrowth of harmful bacteria. Additionally, the variety of bacteria in your gut plays a vital role in digestion, nutrient absorption, immune system strength, and even aspects of mental well-being. A diverse microbiome simply functions better. Thankfully, focusing on dietary diversity for gut health doesn't have to be restrictive. Dr. Lee encourages exploring the vast array of delicious, traditional plant-based foods from around the world. Prioritize adding new flavors, colors, and textures to your meal. With this approach, you'll be simultaneously nourishing your gut microbiome and satisfying your taste buds for optimal health and enjoyment. Three things that destroy your gut, according to Dr. Lee. Number one, be mindful of antibiotic abuse. Antibiotics are powerful medicine when needed, but they can also wipe out both good and bad bacteria in your gut. If possible, discuss alternatives with your doctor and only take antibiotics when truly necessary to fight infection. Number two, limit ultra-processed foods. These foods are packed with artificial colors, preservatives, and flavorings, ingredients that can disrupt your gut health. Emerging science suggests these additives might alter the balance of your gut bacteria, damage the gut's protective lining, and even contribute to inflammation. Number three, minimize added sugar. Most added sugar is absorbed in the small intestine, leaving little time to reach the colon where beneficial bacteria primarily reside. Starved of fuel, these good bacteria may resort to feeding on the protective mucus lining of the gut. This compromises gut barrier function and can lead to inflammation and increased susceptibility to disease. To nurture a healthy gut, choose naturally sweet whole fruits and minimize foods with added sugars. Should you take probiotic supplements? Dr. William Lee believes probiotics can be helpful for gut health. Probiotics are essentially mixes of good bacteria that add to the ones already living in your gut. This means that taking probiotics can boost your gut microbiome, supporting overall health. However, Dr. Lee stresses that probiotics should never replace a healthy diet full of fiber and prebiotic foods. Think of foods like fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains as the best way to feed your gut bacteria. In short, Dr. Lee sees probiotics as a potential addition to a healthy diet, not a substitute. Focus on getting plenty of fiber-rich foods to nurture your gut bacteria. Probiotics might then offer an extra boost, especially in certain situations. This approach ensures that you're giving your gut the best possible support for a long 